Hey guys, welcome back to another Cajun Toy Review. Today we're going to be looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label Superman in Energized Unchained Armor. And uh, this figure looks freaking awesome. Uh, this is a variant, this is a repaint, and uh, historically I'm not a fan of these, but compared to the original, this is closer in my opinion to the comic uh presentation that i saw and uh in pictures and for the previews and stuff it didn't look very exciting and uh or interesting to me but in hand and actually looking at it up close this figure looks pretty damn cool so uh i'm pretty excited about it it's uh kind of night and day for the way i felt about uh the azrael batman but this looks freaking sick and i'm excited to open it and talk about it right, so let's get into it so this is uh, a gold label exclusive so it won't be at all stores i think this actually might be a walmart exclusive this is where i got it i got it with the azrael batman which i know is a walmart exclusive um but yeah same package you want to see of course we got that gold label on there letting you know that this is a special figure um so superman on the bottom doesn't really tell you too much else about what makes this unique or if you on the side we got that open shot with really nothing just a superman on there on this side we have the superman energized unchained armor and uh on the back we got a bigger shot of superman looking badass looking kind of like the guy or some kind of anime-esque character and stuff like that and uh, here are other characters from that wave. We have the McFarlane exclusive Wonder Woman design, the uh, Bat Cycle from the White Knight, the Demon, Dr. Fate, and King Shazam. And all of these figures have been reviewed on this channel. So if you're interested in any of those, please definitely go check those out. Uh, UPC on the bottom for you guys, always in the shots at the end if you need it. But nothing else really to say, so let's go ahead and open this up and check out our Superman Energized Unchained Armor. And we're looking at the Superman Unchained Armor. This figure looks freaking awesome. This is, man, I, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised about how much I like this figure and how awesome it looks. Uh, there's lots of detail here. The stuff that I thought I was not going to like, uh, the yellow... Uh, highlights and stuff on it which i saw in the pictures i thought didn't look great looks fantastic uh this figure just looks sick um i don't know and like compared to the original you can see here this color scheme is way more comment accurate to what we saw in the superman unchained and i think they nailed it here uh yeah definitely guys if you're thinking about getting this one this is a gold label one so it won't be as produced and stuff like that get on it and get this figure uh you won't be you won't be disappointed so there isn't really any accessories at all to talk about uh the wings are basically uh the cape or wings because it is a cape that transforms the wings in the comics um attached to the figure so there's really no accessories or anything to talk about um this is a dc stand it's not it doesn't come with the stand the figure stands pretty solid on its own but let's go ahead and take them off and take a look all right, here we have our new Unchained Energized Superman next to the Superman and the Devastator Batman from the recent two-pack. Uh, this is really just to show a sense of scale of how big this armored Superman is. He is quite towering and tall figure uh, based uh, on the scale right here. So you can see, uh, especially when you add on the wings, he is quite a big figure. Uh, just reviewing him and showing him by himself really doesn't justify how big he actually is. So... We'll go ahead and take Devastator out and leave Superman in there. Uh, one of the things that I kind of want to show and look at real quick too was if we were able to do a head swap with this. So we'll go ahead and pop off or attempt to pop this head off. Maybe not. All right, and then we'll take our head from this Superman. And yeah, the pull peg didn't come out, so I'm just going to have to put it on there and fix it. But that actually doesn't look bad at all. 
um, that actually looks pretty good. Um, and there's, a, you know, uh, we have other Superman figures out there, so you can actually do different head swaps with it uh, and kind of get the look you want. Uh, but I think this head actually kind of works pretty good with it. Uh, what do you guys think? So go ahead and put the original helmet back on there. And I'll do a shot uh, in the, the pictures at the end with the other head on there for you guys, uh, if you're curious to know what that would look like. And... Um, yeah, this ball came out, so oh, give me one second to put this thing back on there. This is also not the easiest helmet to hold. All right. Yeah, that thing is spiked up, so yeah, you got to kind of get a good grip on there. Slap that back on there. Um, so yeah, this is our uh, armored Superman, and his wings cape is not attached, so those just have the little pegins. So let's pour both those in there like this. It's kind of poured in. All right. And you can kind of get a full range, however you want to put them with there. They got full 360 almost like that. And that is our figure. And looks really awesome. This is actually, like I said, a lot better than I thought. I think this looks... Uh, light years better than the previous painted version and stuff like that. So for a gold label variant and stuff like that, this is actually like my, probably my favorite so far. Uh, this looks dope. Uh, so let's kind of look at some of the detail on this guy. Um, I love the color scheme, the metal on this guy. There is a little bit of marbleization on the wings and stuff that we see and stuff like that, but it doesn't look bad because honestly, it's kind of throughout the figure and it kind of looks like it belongs like this really powerful metal that's just swirling with energy and stuff uh the yellow is supposed to represent like the crackles of energy and stuff like that but it looks really really good uh and it's not an even paint even though it looks like it is it's not all the same throughout uh you can kind of see on the legs a little bit that we have a couple different spots where it's not perfect uh, and that could be just maybe the painted on mine but like the toes aren't the same the fronts of the ankles right here i mean the front uh, the shins aren't the same um this line is different they don't have a straight line right there so i think it looks pretty good uh but as for paint i love the helmet on this guy i think this looks freaking awesome this looks like something out of an anime love the eyes on there kind of see where it kind of i wish this was blackened out a little bit more uh it would give a little bit more detail uh, but for what it is, it looks sick. And of course, the red accent and the fact that the red on the chest is actually a shiny, more metallic red uh, than we get on the face and the shoulders and the crotch looks fantastic. So now let's take a look at the articulation on our armored Superman. So you can look up about this far, not very much. Uh, I wish it was a lot more for flying poses and stuff like that, uh, that would be really awesome, but very limited up. Down, we get a bit more. And you got a nice pivot on there, full rotation. You got a full arm rotation, which is not blocked at all by these shoulder pads, which it looks like it might be, but we don't. And they got that butterfly joint in there. There is also a bicep swivel single jointed elbows almost full range of motion on those elbows as well just a little bit hindered right here at the top by that joint we got the ball joint on the wrist with the pivot flex and rotation it's got uh, an ab crunch about that much and a little bit of pivot waist rotation at the uh, the abdomen and the hips so it's almost like a little superman puzzle right here so it's all in the hips so you know. um and then of course we look at the wings already but you got full 360 rotation on there oh and they're out but yeah and there it gets split all the way 
Look at Superman go. All right. Kick about this high, which is actually pretty damn good. Got double joint of knees. Can almost kick his own ass. Touch his own wings for sure. And there is no boot cut or anything like that. Uh, and we do have a hinge, uh, have a hinge on the foot and a toe hinge as well. And he has peg holes on the bottom of his feet and he stands pretty damn well. He's like I said, he's pretty solid and tall. Uh, he's kind of get that legs right. And there you go. So that is our figure. Uh, I think this figure is pretty awesome guys. I recommend it. I truly do. Uh, I wish he came with maybe additional uh, hands or something like that. Some fist, but it is a repaint. It is a variant it is a gold label variant. But it's a really solid one with this paint job in there, guys. So I think it looks dope. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. Check out our other content. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, we do DC Multiverse, NECA, uh, Marvel, Marvel Legends, and anything else pretty much that I come across that I think is cool. And Toy Hunts, of course. And pretty much update regularly. So, uh... The content is going to keep coming, guys, and it's going to get bigger and better. So thank you guys who have been there so far. And anybody who's new, welcome aboard. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.